looks lovely. Thank you. After breakfasting like a king, I'm ready for my next appointment of the day at Edward VII's own barbers. Like roughly half the adult population, my day usually begins with a ritual that's frankly long since lost its charm, shaving. But I'm hoping that a more Edwardian approach to the chore will transform it from a tired routine to a pampering pleasure. The Edwardian gentleman would certainly never have dreamt of shaving himself. His valet attended him in the comfort of his own bedroom. I'm going for the next best thing, the services of professional barber Kamil Ozturk. So here's your hot towel. The hot towel. Is that something I could sort out for myself at home? Very easily, actually. You wet a towel, wring it, scent it with a nice flavour. Put it in the microwave on two minutes on very high. <laughs> in the microwave? The microwave, two really? minutes, very high, and it'll come out beautiful. And what's this going to do for my skin and my bristles? This is actually going to soften your bristles and make my job a hell of a lot easier. While the hot towel works its stubble softening magic, Camille prepares some shaving lather with a traditional badger hair brush. The brush lifts and exposes the bristles and exfoliates the skin. A natural soap continues to soften the bristles and is less harsh than synthetic shaving foams. It takes a little bit longer, I guess, than just squeezing it out of the aerosol, but do you think it's time well spent? I shave every morning this way. It doesn't take me very long at all, seven minutes. Before the disposable razor was invented, shaving meant using a cutthroat blade. No surprise then that any man who couldn't afford a barber usually opted to remain bearded. I'm not sure I really dare take a six-inch cutthroat to my face when I'm sleepy in the morning. But what are the best alternatives for me at home? Well, it's all in the preparation. Hot towels, softening, lavering. Doesn't matter what razor blade you use, you can get an amazing shave. Which is the cold towel, no, which is yeah. going to close all your pores. Does that come out of the fridge? It has a lid. A final bit of pampering completes the experience, which has convinced me to trade in my aerosol for a bit of badger. That feels very good indeed. How does it look? Very close. Thank you, Camille. Thank you. I reckon I've scrubbed up pretty well. And since I now have the face of an Edwardian gentleman, perhaps I should consider smelling like one. There are a lot of fragrances that we use in Edwardian times. So something quite typical might be the limes cologne. Oh, I like citrusy flavours. Just rub that, rub your palms together and have a little... And the sandalwood, mm -hmm. it's incredibly fresh. We put that on the hot towels when you're having your shave. Mm. It just really wakes you up in the morning. One of the other fragrances that was very popular was sandalwood. Plenty mm. of bass notes in yeah, that. That's lovely, actually. Yeah. Very nice. What else have we got? These are quite beautiful. This aster, quite a strong fragrance, because in that time, they tended to commission the fragrances just for them. But this was actually commissioned for Lord this, Aster. Yeah, this was Lord Aster's. Whew, he liked the strong stuff, he did Lord like Aster, didn't he? I think I prefer the sandalwood, actually. I, I think for you, certainly the sandalwood, it's lighter and it's fresher. It's got far more modern scent. And limes. Limes is great in the morning. Sandalwood, perhaps, in the evening. Let's take these. 